We showed you guys this at the beginning of the show, and it is the Roberta Six Piece Trample Me Flowering Time Collection. A beautiful ground cover, and the only ground cover that can handle foot traffic. That's why they called it the Trample Me. Think about this while we go through this presentation, if you will. Um, your mulch bill. Would you like to get rid of your mulch bill? I know I would. I hate my mulch oh. bill. Um, so <laughs> I hate my mulch bill. <laughs> every year I have to do it, and I really, I really hate it. This it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Why not do you just something? Give it to me instead. Yeah, right. I'm going to by buying these flowers. Oh, okay. Why not take that mulch money budget? Get enough for your home and get rid of the mulch. And while you're doing that, this will choke out the weeds too because the trample meat is dense, it's thick, it's strong, but it's not overbearing and it's no. so beautiful. It is heat tolerant, um, it is drought tolerant, it is resistant to deer, and it ships as um, actively growing plants in a six piece tray. So, what I would like to ask you to do is get more than one set because we used to do it in a big flat yeah and now we wanted to give people the option of you know if you don't want to do and, the whole yeah, flat pick and, pick and choose your choose. colors pick and choose over 24,000 of these have been picked up already they come in red pink purple and white your choice your choice yes all right talk to me about this oh my goodness oh, this trample these. me time is one of my favorite plants that we offer all year round. I love this plant because this is kind of where, uh, you know, you solve, a, you solve a problem, an age old problem. That age old problem is mulch and weeds. And you solve yeah. it by planting this trample me time, but you do it with a plant that can handle the foot traffic every single day. And it doesn't even matter. So if you plant this along your walkways in between your stepping stones and your children accidentally walk on it or ride their bike over over it or you accidentally drive your car over it it doesn't matter <laughs> it can handle it every single day and it produces evergreen foliage 12 months out of the year but then all summer long they are graced with this thick blanket that's of what I want to show you want to know why this chokes out weeds look under here look under here it is a thick Yes. Dense. Nothing's going to get through there. Kind of a look at this. So I can Absolutely. squeeze this. This is what's going to kill all this. This is why I want you to not buy the mulch and have that bill or that bill every year because this will keep naturally keep those weeds down. Look right. at how dense that is. And Antonella, so in the world of professional gardening, professional horticulture, there's one main reason for using mulch. We use mulch as a placeholder, pure and simple. It is a placeholder until you find the plants that you want to replace the mulch with. Wow. This is the plant that you replace the mulch with, the trample me time, because it is exceptionally drought tolerant. You can plant this at the back of the garden where the hose doesn't reach. It loves that hot, full baking sun all summer long, no problem. It also is evergreen 12 months out of the year. Oh. It can ha it will be evergreen here in Pennsylvania because okay, so back it is up, back winter. Up, back up for someone out there that's not a, a gardener. Deciduous means it'll drop the green, it goes to bare yes. and ugly. But evergreen, whether it's an evergreen, like Look you're using you, to horticulturalist. No, I just garden a little bit. Um, and I got good friends too in the business. So, but an evergreen, doesn't matter what kind of plant it is, it's telling you it stays, it green, stays green all, all year, year round. round. And it can handle the foot traffic day in and day out, and it's still going to look its absolute best. Wow. That's okay. what I love about this plant. So what do we do? Okay, is this how it comes? Oh, this is how it comes. Can I just touch it for a minute? Let me see it, Devin. Let me, let me give it to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. I just want to see, look at, as it comes to you, it's dead. Look how thick that is. Look at how thick it is. And you don't even have to remove the mulch. You simply plant it I'll in it your last you year's mulch. Oh my plant gosh. Plant it in last year's mulch. How do you plant it in? How do you do it? Well, what I'll do do? show you. Okay, okay, so here's one of your six piece collections that you'll receive in the mail. And you see each of them are individually planted. This is, you know, it's such an easy plant. All you do, you pop it out. You go along your borders, along your walkways, in between your stepping stones, in front of those hardy geraniums or in front of your Gerber daisies, and you plant one of your six plants just like this. This could be last year's mulch, whatever. And this one plant 
will grow into something that looks like this by the end of the first or second season. No way. So this is what one of your six one, plants looks like. One does. That's unbelievable, you yes. guys. And what I love that they did a little different is, you know what? Do you want six red? Do you want six pink? Do you want six purple, six white? Can we look at what, I mean, what would you suggest? Yes. You're the designer. Well, let's go through some of those pictures okay. and, and I'll tell you what I like. Okay. First of all, many gardeners will recognize the need for three or four or five of these collections. Right there, that's probably one collection after oh. the end of the second season. Oh my gosh. Look how it just gently cascades through those rocks, covering all of the ground space. Along oh. your walkways, you know your kids are going to be running down those steps, yeah. running along that bank. If you have some other sort of ground cover or other plant material, yeah. well, they would be damaging it, but not this. So there you can see the pink just behind those hardy geranium that we saw earlier. Beautiful. Isn't that yeah. a gorgeous combination? Yeah. Rock walls, slopes like that. Oh, look at that. You can know Jeez. they're starting to uh, take away all of the mulch in that little slope thing, yeah. but they stopped halfway. Get another collection, fill the rest of that gap out. Same yeah. here. Oh, that's Look pretty. how beautiful all summer long. Yeah. Um, now I see that that's kind of, is that planted in a rock garden? Planted or? literally in a bed of rocks on the side of a sidewalk. No out way. Where I live in Seattle, one of my friends. Oh. That the, purple is the most popular color. I right love now. it. Who wouldn't yeah. want a sea of beautiful purple that is all so summer royal long? Royal looking. That's so royal and regal. Jeez, it looks like a purple lawn. It is. A, you know, this is. Imagine in between your stepping stones, if you had planted grass there, what a hassle that would be to mm. mow. You never have to mow this. You never have to trim it. All you got to do is water it in the first season, make sure you get nice roots, and then by the end of the second or third season, they'll be exceptionally drought tolerant. Okay, this next Look at picture. That red. Oh, can you tell man. what's behind it? I what's can't. behind it is some lavender. Oh, and what's in geez. front of it is mulch that needs to be filled in with more time. Yeah. So you know what? What what's a gorgeous your, combination. What's your mulch budget this year? Okay. Start eliminating it once gonna, and for all. Are you kidding me, Devin? It, the mulch is more expensive. I'll tell you right now. The, the mulch is more yeah. expensive. Yeah. And this is a one-time, you know, one-time one -time investment. One-time purchase. That's Buy it. Buy a few. And here is at my uncle Eric's home in Indiana in 2013. We had the the worst drought in a hundred years. Wow. Now he planted this time in between between those stepping stones huh. at the back of the garden where the hose doesn't reach. He clearly was not watering the lawn because it is totally dead. <laughs> but what is growing well is the thyme in between those stepping stones. It's not only growing well, it's actually blooming. That Okay, I say that Eric, is a testament I'm to how. I'm kind of bummed that you let that grass go. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. He's doing the right thing. It, it's too expensive. Serving. It's not sustainable yeah. to water a lawn. Replace your lawns with something that is sustainable, awesome. something that can handle the foot traffic, something that looks beautiful, yes. produces color, yes. it, even fragrant. Yeah, this is the bomb. I, I got to agree with you, Devin, I, because <laughs> no, seriously. I know you I, do. You know I do. <laughs> Um, because I hate my mulch bill and I also, you know, my dogs, they walk it in, the kids walk it in, yeah. it's like dirt wanna... on my carpet, it's black. that's what the mulch does. And then P.S. by the way, I still have to buy weed killer because weeds come up through the mulch. So yeah. what well, am you know, I doing? Am I stupid? I don't know. If your pups, if your pups run through this, it doesn't matter. They don't want to yeah. do any damage. Yeah. If they need to do their, do their thing in it, it yeah. doesn't matter either. I love it, Devin. Okay, one more time, Brian, what was that? Over 200 of those have already been ordered. Have mercy. Thank you, Devin. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. President's Day Spectacular. <laughs>